Yep, that's me. And now you might be wondering, how on earth did I get into this situation? Well, to explain that, I'm going to have to take you back to where this story first began. Today, I embark on my first ever real solo adventure. Being my first ever real solo adventure, I didn't quite know what the day could bring me. But as the fort appeared in front of me, I knew what had to be done. I let my ship sail off into the sunset as I waited for someone to start the fort. Well, looks like we're all caught up now. Well, not quite. I did still have to make it up to my hiding spot. But then all I had left to do was to wait for this polite crew to finish the fort for me so I could steal it from them. A few more well-placed sword swings and our pirate friend is still with the final blow to the Duchess. Now all there is left to do is a well-executed sneak attack. Hello? Is anybody waiting here just to get the loot? Hello? You guys sure you're not here for the loot? You sure? All it took was a well-placed blunderbomb throw, and I've sent these pirates to the Ferry of the Damned. I let them leave the ship and head up to the fort so I can board their ship uncontested. Now all I've got left to do is to blow up their ship with some TNT. We knew you were here. We didn't know we were going to blow that up though. That was pretty smart actually. Thanks man. Did it myself. Thank you. You proud of me? I did. Yeah, I'm actually all that out. It's pretty cool though. Yeah, Thanks. I know. We saw your mermaid actually. Yeah, I, I knew that would give me away. With their ship sunk, I can finally focus on moving the loot out of the fort. Without my trusty ship to load my loot onto, I decide it's best for now to just hide the loot until I find a way to get this loot off the island. I spend the rest of the night moving the loot from the fort into my sneaky hiding spot. And thanks to a happy miracle, I find a rowboat on the island. This will be my trusty getaway vehicle after I load the fort loot onto it. So it's finally time to think about my getaway. And luckily for me, I've been studying the map before I embarked on this journey. And with Lost Gold Fort being right near Plunder Outpost, it won't take me long to get this loot somewhere I can sell it. However, I can feel my luck running out. It's been way too long since I sunk those pirates, and I've got a terrible feeling they'll be back soon for another fight. I'll need to sink them one last time before I can make my trip to Plunder. So I hatch a plan most devious. With some of the fort loot loaded onto the rowboat, I decide to use it as bait. As they sail to the island, the pirates will see the loot in the rowboat and think I am trying to load it up to row away. Little do they know of the danger that waits above them. Now all there is left to do is to wait for the perfect moment to strike. Round two, round two, baby, round two, round two, sick. With a devastating number of holes blown into their ship, all there is left to do is to defend the holes till the ship is sunk. I had bested these pirates twice now, and I was confident I would have plenty of time to collect up all the loot and make my getaway to Plunder Outpost. 
but after besting this crew so many times, I wasn't just going to settle on some of the loot. I wanted all of the loot. I was burning valuable time trying to collect every skull, chest, or trinket I could find, but I wasn't going to leave them with one single piece of treasure. Maybe it was a moment of poor judgement, or maybe it was my overconfidence from beating them so many times. Whichever it was, I soon realised the true scale of my poor time management skills. I had taken too long, and the sloop was back with a vengeance. I desperately rode to the last of the loot I had waiting for me at the dock. With their ship here, I would have no hope of running from them. My greed had gotten the better of me, and I'd have to sink their sloop once again. Please just give up, dude. Just give up for your own sake. I engage in some friendly verbal warfare in the hopes I can convince them to give up, but it seems they want the loot more than I do, and they won't be giving up that easily. Without a ship to spawn back on, I am pushing my luck with each time I try and fight this crew. So I ditch the rowboat for now and attempt another TNT board. After having blown them up twice already with TNT, they would surely be ready for it this time. However, being a solo player without a sloop, my options are kinda limited at this point. As I make my long swim to their ship, my luck has finally run out. Rare has decided they've had enough of my antics and have sent a shark to finish me off. I lose half my health with the first bite and with the second one close behind, it's not long before all my food is gone. And in my moment of distraction, I lose sight of the ship just long enough for me to completely miss my chance to board. Now completely out of food and sandwiched between two pirates and a shark, my chances of surviving this are looking slimmer and slimmer. One more shot from an eye of reach or another chomp from a very hungry shark would send me straight to the Ferry of the Damned and spell the end for this adventure. Unfortunately, it seems the shark is still not done with me. And with one final chump from the shark, my adventure ends here. In a moment of heated rage, I let Rare know just how I feel about their sharks. I am reunited with a new ship, and I soon discover just how far away I have spawned. I know by the time I get back to the fort, they will have long gone by then. My only chance is if they go to sell a plunder outpost. I could meet them there for one last ditch effort to sink them before they can sell everything. But it seems the wind gods are against me this time. It's starting to look much less likely that I can get there before they can sell all of the loot. As I finally arrive at Plunder, it is evident that it has taken too long to get there. And they will have long since sold everything. My first solo adventure has ended in failure. However, I will not be allowing them to leave before tasting a barrage of cannon fire to let them know that I am not a pirate to be messed with. I will send this crew down to Davy Jones' locker if it's the last thing I do. They drop sails in a last ditch effort to run, but it is not long before I manoeuvre in for an attack with the starboard cannons. After a well placed chain shot and landing a few less cannonballs than I would have liked, I line myself up to ram and board their ship. After a successful board, I assess the damages to their ship. All I have left to do is to wait for anyone to spawn back to the ship and to stop them from repairing any holes. A well placed blunder shot sends this pirate back to the Ferry of the Damned. It seems these pirates have had enough of me, and I am soon greeted by the beautiful sound of the ship scuttling. A sure sign that the crew you're fighting have realised they can no longer hope to defeat you. I'm finally reunited with my rowboat, as I watch my enemies sink to the bottom of the ocean. And so I finally embark on my long row to plunder outpost, unfortunately this time without any loot aboard. It's important to manage your expectations as a solo slooper, and count every small win along the way as a victory. Because you know what's more important than materialistic possessions? It's knowledge. What we learn along our adventures is infinitely more valuable than any skull or chest. It's this knowledge we can bring to the table that might just be what we need to win next time. Like maybe next time I might remember to bring some shark repellent.
Well, that's the end of this adventure, my friends, and the end of my very first solo adventure. Now, will I be making more of these videos in the future? Well, maybe. This video was super fun to make, but it was also really challenging for me. So please, if you haven't yet, consider liking, commenting, and subscribing, and hit that link below. It'll take you to all of my other socials, so you can follow me there as well. Alright, that's all for today. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.